It's 4.30 in the morning. Guess what we're doing? Rise and shine, guys. We're going to the candle sale. Yeah, guys. 4.30 in the morning, there's a bed. No, it's ba Bath and Body Works. That's like two minutes from my house at the promenade. And we're going to go see if we get some sales. Well, not sales. It's their annual three wick candle sale. And I've never gotten any of their candles during this sale. I always miss out. So, Pablo, did you let him out? So, like, right now, what are we going to do with him? But where is he going to stay? We stopped by last night on our way home at, by the store just to see if there was any crazies out there anywhere already. Come on, Pablo, go outside. If there was any crazies out there already. The lady said that usually they are in line by 3, 4 in the morning. It'd be cold, though. We'll see. And, I, and your head kept telling me and screaming, and me set the alarm. <sighs> Thank God it's only like two minutes. Oh my God. She's like, oh, si no, no me levanto. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's the only reason why. Or is it your Jake? Or mine? I think I had forgotten how nice this one was from the inside. If it was further, I would have been like, Jackie, let's just go on the regular hour. <laughs> She told me last night she wanted to come, and I was like, okay, that's fine. And then this morning, she was just like, no, you go by yourself with that, Diana. And I was just like, okay. And then, like, 20 seconds later, she's like, okay, I'm going. She's like, you're going to... I was, I'm probably going to end up, to be honest with you, with the one that your Diana gets, flannel if they have it, and black tie. Those are like... I like, like, the manly smoke. Yeah, so then I guess... And then we had to stop saying so to make a right. Yeah, I still haven't figured this small out. I've, I barely found where Tor it is. Like the and it's like right here. I know, but all, like the way that the GPS was taking me, it wasn't taking me here. Yeah. So it took me like I came, when I came on my lunch break, it took me a minute to, to find it. And that's the only store that I've been to besides the nail shop. And I thought it was like a perfect mall when we first moved in. Like it had for, like I don't even know how Forever Twenty One didn't make it. Victoria's Secret at one point thought I was it was gonna close. Oh look, there's no line. <gasps> there's people in the cars. Look at all these cars. There's one. They had they're gonna flood out like they're gonna one, two. One person woke up. Yeah, no. Shit, we should be the first in line. Is there people in there? Yeah, she's in there. One, two, her little do you want to go as la vuelta completa and park behind this one so we're not like having a turn um online there was an 18 just go in this one and then reverse out yeah i'm trying to buy 40 candles <laughs> <laughs> and i still got six at home no but how much can i buy one there's no limit i'm talking about how many you should let me buy you can get five yeah yeah you do five i do five five Then you don't have to buy till next year. Because no crash, the years that I never bought enough. Te dije, te dije que se iban a bajar todas del carro, Ana. Corre, Ana, corre. Ya hay cinco. Alright guys. 
check for where, where yours are at, Anna. Where's yours at? Is this the only sale women get up for? <laughs> Anna! <laughs> ¿Qué pasó, girls? <laughs> We're married, señor. Les dije, oh my, oh, es que mira, se llenó de acá de este lado. Let me find black tire, yeah. Are those that over there, Anna? Yeah. Did you get the high intensity? Yeah. Okay. about the space where am I gonna I guess I'm in the oh in the laundry room in the racks that I have in the laundry room right I mean they'll look cute because my fences is open oh look my hair look cute 
<laughs> this is when at five in the morning is when my eyes look hazel, guys. Yeah, you are. I couldn't even go back to sleep after I woke up that once the little bit once you called me. But because you, you knew No, she just texted me. But I was like, I don't want them to I like how my phone was on do not disturb. Yeah. I like how my phone was on do not disturb. So I'm confused how you're calling it. Did you call twice? Died, Mija, because I forgot. I'll, I'll put a number. We're going to record the hubby's reaction. I don't. Yeah, Hey, baby. Yeah. Turn the car for me. Turn the heater there. Just press the. Just press the brake and hit the button. What happened? What? Did you say yaya or damn? No, I said yaya. Oh, so now you wore my truck. We're wild. Why? <laughs> oh, there's a line. Still a line. You're going to be able to say that when you say you got to get up and buy some sneakers. Pecho, tamales? We can watch Grey's Anatomy. Oh, no. I'm gonna wait for both. You guys wanna watch Grey's Anatomy? Do you want us to wait for you? No, no. He does. He has. Haven't you missed like the other episode too? Yeah, I fell asleep. Huh? It's fine. Don't worry about it. See, he has to catch up on two. Oh, but what's that smell? Why are you up this early, huh? Because you guys are up this early. <sighs> Come on, show me yours. Right here, baby. You left the key in there, yeah? Yeah. I love you. Are we doing anything today? No. I think. Yeah, no. We gotta do laundry. Yeah, we have to do laundry. I told you that I help you separate it. I already told my mom, I'm like, if I come back, I'll come back maybe Sunday. Or I wouldn't go today. Um, so, yeah. It's doing laundry. It's, uh, I mean, and, and it's only to chill with her. And yeah, obviously, right now. That, that's why I, I think her. right now she probably even needs more descanso without us. Like last night, there was a lot of noise for her. Yeah. That, no, that's what I told her. I said, I'm going to say, I can't believe I don't want to leave. I see where I go, I go, I go, I go, I go, Okay, don't worry about it. She couldn't even open her eyes. She probably hasn't slept. That's she hasn't slept since basically they told her it was going to happen, Mija. Yeah. She hasn't had a good night's sleep since they told At her. At least her. that, yeah. If she slept for a few hours or something. Um. So let's do laundry. Let's, uh... Well, let's, si nos ponemos, yo ya hide up. Right now it's 6 o'clock. Uh, like, we could we do, do laundry brush. by the time you get home. Go. So, good morning again, guys. Um, actually came to give my grandpa food. I help my mom. She does all the heavy lifting. She does everything for my grandpa when he's here. When um, I just help on a few days when her shifts change and, and whatnot. But um, so I came and I'm going to eat breakfast with my grandpa at my mom's house. I am going to have, here, let me, this whole front is weird. So hold on. So I'm gonna have nopales revueltos con cebolla, tomate, um, y queso, los nopalitos. And then I am gonna have two tamales this morning. 
um they're little ones they're baby ones from my mom but it's gonna be kind of like my tortilla and my carne and that's what i'm gonna have for breakfast so the nopal is obviously very healthy very good the ca it's cactus um so that is super good and then the tamales is going to be kind of like my protein my fat as well as my tortilla my carb for today um very easy thankfully you know my mom had this already made so just reheating everything up and that's what it's going to look like i'll show you guys my tamales right now they just finished so this is what my plate's going to look like my nopales Y mi tamal. Mm. So, very good breakfast. Not like during the week when I'm working hard. All right. Well, enjoy if you're eating your breakfast, and I will be here enjoying mine. Oh, look. You can see my canas. Um, all right. So, it is very late in the day. I ended up taking a nap after the candles. So we're barely going to get started. I'm going to clean the kitchen. Yaya's going to clean the living room. And we're going to do basically Saturday cleaning. We're going to have um, Selena in the background right now. Is that what we're going to watch? We're going to watch Selena, the series. Uh, it's, how many episodes? Huh? So we're going to do that. And then so we'll bring you guys along to get motivated on a Saturday morning to clean and Mexican style, we just do the whole house in one day, I guess. Laundry, I gotta clean out the refrigerator. Um, this is what my kitchen looks like. There's stuff on that cabinet. There's stuff on the table. There's stuff on that cabinet. Then there is stuff on this cabinet. There's dirty dishes. Thankfully, the stove is clean. The stove is clean. And then, Yeah, is going to clean the living room, which is just kind of like the sofa area stuff. We've got all of our candles right there. Uh, we're going to do that, and then I'm going to see what Maddox is going to help with. Hopefully, we can get almost, if not everything done by the time Fernando gets home, so we could just chill with him. So, come on along. Oh, Coach Corsa, can I go at 10 tomorrow? Yeah, that's fine. Before, I'll keep you guys posted with the after. So here you guys have it, the after. So I cleaned all my stuff out. All basically my drinks are up at the top. Um, kind of like the kid snacks, um, like their apple sauces, their strawberries are right here. Then I have like sour creams and all my like, this is like kind of these two shelves are the snack areas, my tortillas. And then we've got kind of like leftover stuff here. Then you've got my veggies and more veggies. Um, my door i have like my cheeses and my sandwich stuff up here i have everything that i would normally like maybe put on a sandwich except the ketchup i wouldn't put that up um but like my pickles my hot jaranera my mustard that's what i have there and then the next one is where i would have all my uh dressings uh like my ingredients for my salad so you've got your dressings you've got your cheese you've got some basil then i've got some cranberries and the parmesan cheese and the bacon Guys, if you guys are fans of basil, but because of the fact that the basil plant, um, I mean, to keep up with it or to buy it as often as you need to, to keep it fresh, it's hard. I recommend the stir and paste. It's actually really good. And then this next one is kind of like all gibberish, like all mix. It's got steak sauces, hot sauces, uh, jelly, um, cherries, the beer, and then um, the empty shelf that I didn't have anything else to do. So right now it looks pretty empty. I did want to clean the refrigerator because I wanted to, vamos a ir al mandado cuando llegue Fernando. So quería que estuviera el refrigerador listo ya para cuando llegara Fernando y nos fuéramos al mandado para guardarlo. So ya está listo allí. And then 
El freezer tampoco ya no le hice mucho porque ya el freezer también ya lo había limpiado hace unos días. So the freezer's clean as well, ready to go. And um, I, got, I was I able to kind of go through it, check what I have, don't have, para no traer de más. Um, but yeah, here you have it after... Because he's hungry, but we all kind of eat already. This is what I wish you would have done with the wolf. Test it. Really showing the hair. I think I got the combo perfect. Right? I finally got the perfect combo for it. So, what were you saying, wolf? Well, just order like a seven. That should hold you off easily until like seven. Yeah. So that I can get here by eight, or do you want to order at six so it gets here by seven? Make myself one too since I ate this morning. Uh -huh. Not in the afternoon, but I didn't want to eat with like I just don't want to eat and then like all of our meal schedules are like, off, you know what I mean? Because then we're all going to be eating at different times. Imperial cock with like the trooper in front, and he didn't even want all this detail. What I did was like showed him myself and said, This is the direction I want to go. So from that point on, I was like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have to clean the living room at her room. Maddie's clean the room at the basement. I clean the kitchen at my room. And then just doing my work. We got to go to the Myers, Myers gas station to do the dehumidifier. Oh, you sold one? Yeah, but not for 70, I mean, not for 70, 60. For 40. For 40? Hey, you know, it's okay. So free money right now. So I can give you a small profit. Right? The first of those just sitting there. So how many of those do you have there? In the black that is in the checkbook, it doesn't give this thing shape. Totally, it doesn't. Even though it's kicking more black, but that contrast. Not at all what I expected from you. How do you think you did? I was looking too far off. I mean, out of the three, I sold one for 61. So I think I've been able to convince everybody that my combo is good. So what I do is I do the two scoops of. Can I warm this up, probably? Yeah. Yeah, mijo. For the two scoops of um the shake, and then I do the Polesa duo. I do one scoop. The one banana and eight ounces of milk with um, with at least at least two cubes of um, of ice. If you want it thicker, then you can add more ice. Yeah, it was good, right? What are you gonna do? No, forget it. We'll just we'll sit on the couch and. Uh, 
keep, I'm just gonna do the, do you wanna go take a shower? Yeah, I can use the same cup. Um, if you wanna go take a shower. We're going 20 minutes though. Yeah. So, you can't shower in 20? I didn't say no, I'm just saying. So we're just chilling now on the sofa. Fernando's looking at me, and at me all weird. He's like waiting for my performance, guys, on this video. Pablo! Say hi, Pablo. Look, they can see you, Pablo. Say hi. Say hi. No? Okay. All right. So I have been showing you guys on the last, uh, on one or two of the other vlogs that I did um, about my sleigh that's outside. So I've done this uh, every year that I put the sleigh outside. And what I do is I add actual gifts to it. But what I do is I weatherproof them. So it, this is the final, this is one, my first one that I did, but I'm gonna show you guys what I do with the boxes. So inside the box, so this is, it's a fake gift and it's gonna go outside, but because here in Chicago it snows, we obviously have to uh, weatherproof it or else I'll mess up the wrapping paper and, and, and whatnot. So I went to the dollar store, so super cheap. I got the, one thing you want to, you want to do is get the, there's foil wrapping paper. And I feel that the foil wrapping paper gives it an extra layer of protection. Um, and it doesn't, what it doesn't get as wet um, as, as the regular uh, wrapping paper would. And I've already tried it, just putting it outside with foil by its with the wrapping paper by itself and it has worked and it looks really nice but um I, i'm gonna add this uh an additional layer to it so that it protects it even more um so like i said so that's i'm gonna get the foil paper they have um at the dollar store they have gold and silver so this is the silver one and then they have the gold one since i already wrapped this one in silver i'm gonna go ahead and keep up with the gold with the silver now it is cheap if you go to the dollar store, but I guess it depends on how many gifts you're gonna wrap because the dollar store, it's really good quality paper. It actually even has like the grid on the back. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got the grid lining so you can cut it easier. So it's not cheap paper, even though it's a dollar, but the fact that it's a dollar, they don't give you a lot. Like for example, that box took up a whole roll of paper. This one's probably gonna do the same thing. So if you find foil wrapping paper, at, like I found some at Myers, it might be better off, even though you might be paying a little bit more, but at least it'll, it'll have a lot more and you'll be able to wrap up more gifts. So it almost ends up um, evening out. So I actually asked the at the Dollar Tree where I went to, I asked them for these boxes and you know I didn't have to pay for them. Inside them, we put um, like the, rat, the newspaper that comes in that they throw outside and then some uh, scrap of tile that we had and this is just because it's gonna serve the dual purpose of weighing down the sleigh so when the wind and the snow come it doesn't tilt to uh, tilt over all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and so let me get to the we all know how to wrap up a gift I guess you know so let me so let me do that part really quick So you saw how I wrapped it, looking very nice here. Very dirty, very sturdy, very durable paper. Like I said, it's, it's really nice paper for, a dollar, for the Dollar Tree. Um, so here is your extra layer of protection for the weather. So I am using the, what is it, Cello? Yeah, yeah, what is that? What is that? Cello? Cello wrap, it's like what you use for like Easter baskets. And that is what I'm gonna use to wrap this box in. 
if you the other one that i showed you guys first was already wrapped so you can't even tell um that it adds the clear coating it's so cool and it just gives your like i said it gives your gift that extra protection especially like if you're in an area that rains a lot or in an area that snows because here like for me i have it in an area where i do try to protect it so that it, not a lot of snow, snow falls on it but the little snow that it does fall on it when it starts melting it obviously messes up makes and even though like with the foil when i've done it just with the foil it just makes the paper like wrinkly but it doesn't rip it doesn't you know it doesn't make it it doesn't mess it up or anything so but i do like to add this like i said clear <laughs> so that we can this is one of the let me see if this one will be enough not sure Ooh, sorry pablo i didn't see you there you think it'll be enough Oh, it's close, look. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing, work with it exactly like you would wrapping paper. Go ahead and you can hear my title. <laughs> Just go ahead and uh, go oh, like this. Which one's like this? Okay, Angel's giving me his tips. I got out. No, it's not gonna be enough. Well, what if I, since it'll be towards the bottom, it doesn't. Water is still Yeah, it'll still drip to it. So, I'll just do one in the middle, right? Like a strip here in the middle. So that's what I think. It's that's the bad part about the fact that. Scissors. with the Dollar Tree stuff that it's just like this is good quality I'm not complaining about the quality I'm just now it's the quantity and it's really little I mean I am making big boxes as well and the reason they're big is because I want people to be able to like if somebody was to pay attention and look at my decor I want them to be able to see um, I want them to be able to see that there's like actual gifts in the basket. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and then I'll show you guys my final product. Do you wanna change it that? tell you can't tell a difference you can't see the clear anywhere it looks like this is the foil is your main focus and so now I'm just gonna go ahead and add my boom got these at the dollar store too they usually have these really big jumbles but they were limited this year or by the time I, right now when I went, they didn't have much. All right, guys, head on back to the loft. One of you, it'll be your last visit. Because when you return, someone will be packing their machines and closing shop. Now, the staple just poked me. All right, here is your fake waterproof, weatherproof, um, gift to go in my sleigh. Let's go check it out. You want to work? Bring it back. Pablo, no. Pablo. Did he go? No. Yeah. 
so this is oh it's pretty dark though turn on the light from right there you can put it right there put it right there it's fine so this fernando's gonna turn on the light for me a little bit to see if that helps it helped a little bit all right so basically i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stack them one inside roll the phone Them for a little bit. All right, guys so this is what what it looks like it's not the best lighting like i said but that's what it looks like so now you can see the reindeer actually pulling the uh, sleigh with uh presents on it and then i was even thinking or if we wanted to since we've got the christmas tree out here depending on your decor your decor or your decorations you could definitely grab it and you can have gifts out there so then now it looks like the Christmas tree has has gifts or however you want to position position them but I usually do it and the well the tree this is my first time with the tree but um, so I'm going to go ahead and put them back on the sleigh. That's where I personally like it best. And then, like I said, I'll, sh I'll show you guys, maybe, um, I'll show you guys tomorrow when there's better lighting, but yeah, it makes it look cute. The foil paper makes it like stand out. And then during the day, you can really see it from, you know, as you're pulling up to the driveway and stuff like that, but don't they look cute? So I just wanted to come in, close the vlog out for tonight. Um, it is already um, late tonight, Saturday. It's 8 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, it is making fun of me because it's. I'm saying it's late. Okay, I'm. Um, it's late for a Saturday night for me. And we did a lot today. Yeah, yeah, we did a lot. Um, so I just wanted to finish it. We were going to order. The original plan was to order pizza. Fernando, again, knocked out. You can hear him in the background. Um and we're gonna go ahead and just have a bunch of leftovers tinga frijoles tostadas um maddox is our ground turkey yajairas are tingas and mine are a mixture of both and i'm just doing the like a bowl style with um with this little piece of tostada here mm -hmm. so have a good night everybody and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning